This is Capital Views, and I'm Mike Bradner, and we have with us today Heidi Dragas, who uh, is the new Commissioner of Labor. And Heidi, tell us a little bit about yourself and your background. Well, I was uh, born and raised in Fairbanks, Alaska. Um, I attended Weller Elementary and Tanana Junior High School and Lathrop High School. Um, and then I got my history degree from the University of Alaska Fairbanks. Um, where my older brother and my younger sister both went, so my parents somehow got very lucky that all, all three kids stayed in Fairbanks and went to school and saved a lot of money and got a great education. And um, after that, I decided I wanted to go to law school. So I went to Willamette University in uh, Salem, Oregon and got my law degree. And I, I, I loved my time in Oregon, but Alaska was always home. So um, after law school, I moved back to um, Fairbanks and I clerked for um, the Honorable uh, Judge Pengilly on the uh, Alaska Superior Court in Fairbanks. Um, and soon after that, um, I decided I wanted to try my luck in Anchorage and moved to Anchorage. And I worked as an associate at uh, a law firm called Guess and Rudd, longtime uh, um, Alaska firm. Um, where I did uh, insurance defense work. And um, I did that for about a year, made some great friends. It was a, it was a terrific experience. Um, but my family um, has always been passionate about uh, labor rights and workers' rights. Um, and I knew I wanted to go into labor law and, and do something to advance the rights of workers in some way. And I got a call about a position opening up at the Labor's Union, at the Alaska District Council of Labor's. So um, I, well, I thought, well, you know, I'm, I was, I think, 25 at the time, and I thought, well, I, this probably won't go well, but I'll, I'll see what they do. Um, but I think the, uh, the laborers were very impressed with my, my background, with my family, and my passion for workers, and so um, they, they hired me. Now, the District Council of Labor's, uh, was that simply Fairbanks, um, the local in Fairbanks, or both Anchorage? The Alaska Dis District Council of Laborers is the umbrella organization That's for right. the three laborers locals in the state. So there's laborers local um, 341 in Anchorage, which is primarily construction, but we have health, there was health care and other um, uh, uh, industries that we represented uh, workers in. Um, laborers local 942 in Fairbanks and Public Employees Local 71, which is the statewide Public Employees Local that represents a lot of the blue collar workers that work for the state of Alaska. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, the, the uh, city of Anchorage, municipality of Anchorage, um, Haynesboro, um, city of Dillingham, um, many, uh, many different bargaining units. So I got a, a real variety of, of exposure um, and variety of work um, with, with public employees, with construction, but also with drafting leases, with um, dealing with internal management. Um, it was, you know, when I, I used to tease a lot that um, my old job put the general in general counsel. Now, uh, of course, tell us how do you, you got the call to the Department of Labor to be commissioner. Well, that was, um, that was interesting. Um, my, you know, I, I grew up in a, in a labor family. Uh, my father was started out as a car carpenter on the pipeline. Um, worked out of Public Employees Local 71 um, as a maintenance foreman of the, uh, the DOT maintenance camps on the Dalton Highway. And then he started out, um, uh, he was a rookie at, at the age of 42 at the Fairbanks Fire Department. Um, so he's been, my dad has been in many um, uh, different unions and he was the president of the statewide firefighters union. And so I got my, um, my, a lot of my tutelage and my passion, I think, from my dad. My mom was also a cook at the Pioneer Home in Fairbanks um, and a member of uh, Public Employees Local 71. So um, being passionate about workers' rights is in, in my blood, um, and I'm very proud of it. Um, so the, I, I had met the governor many years ago, and I, I, um, I've always admired his tenacity and his forthrightness and his um, kind of the belief in the good in people and um, his particular passion about workers and when and how much people get out of so, working with their hands so and crafting. Did he call you personally? Or is um, just... Well, the, the idea was first floated to me by um, a, f uh, a few of my, um, my colleagues um, 
uh, uh, just mentioning the idea. I, I, it's it's funny. You don't you don't go down a career path and think you know someday I'm going to be a commissioner, <laughs> and um, it uh, it was very unexpected. I think um, myself as well as as many others were very curious who who was who's going to get who's going to get the nod who's going to get tapped. Um, so I was approached about it by a friend um, initially, and I was um, I was pretty blown away. Um, I think actually the, I was shocked. Um, I didn't expect it. Um, and I was really honored and also very um, nervous about it. It's a, it's a huge responsibility. It's, um, I, I had to take some time to think now on it. Now you have a lot of new frontiers at the yeah. department. You have a lot of functions that you know, really don't have anything to do with labor unions, with training or research. Mm -hmm. So give us a brief thumbnail. Well, um, you know, I, uh, I, sorry, I, I think I was, um, I wanted to, I wanted to get back to that, that previous spot. I, did, I didn't, I didn't finish that thought, but anyway, I did meet with the governor and, and talk with him about, uh, um, about taking on the role and the responsibility. And I think this governor is very committed to Alaska Hire. Um, he's committed to training our own. He's, he's deeply committed to workforce development. Um, and I think I just realized that it was something that I, I, was, I was ready for the challenge. It's something that it's very difficult to, to turn away from. Um, as far as the department is concerned, yeah, it's, a, it's an awesome responsibility. Um, now that I've, I'm in the role, I've been in the role for a little over two months, um, I'm, I'm so glad that I I decided and it's to many do it. things that people don't realize. It is. It's um, we have uh, many different divisions: workers' compensation, employment security, labor standards and safety. Um, we have the division of business partnerships. We have um, uh, uh, the, our administrative services division, um, uh, the division of Ro vocational rehabilitation, the Alaska Labor Relations Agency. We have, there's several components. There's about 800 employees in the department and. Um, we make sure that workers are trained, that they have opportunities to be trained, um, that there's, uh, uh, you know, reemployment um, benefits in the event that they're out of work, and we keep workers safe. I um, do, believe it or not, we're out of time. Oh. <laughs> it, this, eight minutes goes by very quickly. Uh, this is Capital Reviews. I'm Mike Bradner, and we've been talking to Heidi Dragas, who's the new Commissioner of Labor. Heidi, welcome to Gina. Thank you. Thank you very much.